Now, lastly, we're going to have something that should make Josh very happy just because he seems to be on a Harry Potter kick lately. Yeah. Um, and also, at the same time, it's going to age us all horribly because the original oh. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone just celebrated its 20th anniversary not too long ago. Mm. And I'm going, no thank you. And so to celebrate that 20th anniversary, HBO Max is going to be having a Harry Potter reunion special, which... Normally, I'm going, yeah, whatever. But they're bringing back basically everyone. They're bringing back Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, Rupert Grint, uh, Tom Felton as Draco Malfoy. I'm going, oh, you're bringing back everybody. Because there's always Harry Potter conventions, events, fan stuff all the time. But very rarely are the big three ever back together. They've all kind of yeah. moved on to do their own thing. Some of them have kids. So getting getting them all back, I'm going, oh, this is something you should absolutely take seriously. It's I think they saw the success of the Friends reunion special on HBO Max, which, you know, was supposed to be there at launch and was not there for much later after (laughs) the pandemic. (laughs) Um, I'm hoping, though, that this will be a little more structured and organized than the Friends reunion special. That was fine, but I felt like it was just kind of random train of thought, just kind of bouncing all over the place. Um, I think this is cool. I think this is really special. I can't believe it's 20 years. It's just weird to me. Uh, yeah. I don't. I can't remember if they confirmed it or not, but I would like to see uh, Chris Columbus, the director of the first two, come back. Maybe they'll do a nice tribute to uh, Richard Harris, who was the original Dumbledore for the first two movies. The best Dumbledore. Um, and, and Alan Rickman, too, would be nice to have a good mm-hmm. uh, memoriam for him. Um, I just, yeah, like 20 years is a long time. Uh, like, I was not, I was almost 10 years old when the first one came that came out. Like, that's amazing to me. Um, so, I don't know, dude. It's, it's really, really cool. I, I, part of the marketing at first made it sound like they were like coming back for like a episode or like a movie or something. Well, Chris Columbus has talked a lot recently about, Hey, I want to do a cursed child movie to which I'm going, well, it's gotta be better than fantastic beast. I would think. I don't know, man. Have you read cursed child? I don't really want to. Leave the memories alone. It from everybody that I know that read it, uh, they did not like it. So um, there's that. I I also just think it'd be interesting to tell some new stories with with uh, with the original three if they're down for it. Um, let's have or the adventures of the kids. Like I know that troop is kind of, that trope is kind of tired and old, but like I don't see any reason why not to. I mean, especially with a series as this celebrated in this like has this much fan base behind it um no but yeah i'd be down i, I kind of am down for whatever as long as it is jk rowling is uh, is not as involved as she she's was not before. in this in at all she's not involved in this reunion Good. special at screw all her. screw her to which that's like that's quite caused quite a bit of controversy people look like but she created i'm going she was very involved with some aspects but she's more or less like the creator of it you, she I don't think you give as much credit for the movies. Like, she didn't write the script for the movie. She didn't direct the movie. Well, you and- know, the first script that she wrote was the Fantastic Beast movies, and it shows because she's not a movie script writer. She created the source material, which is perfect. It's fine. It's great that she created it, but at the same time, I'm like, that's kind of discrediting the hard work that goes into making the movie. I, I think the movies have... And the franchise has moved past her. And that's, I think, in my book, fine. Especially with uh, everything that she's revealed in the last five years. Wizards just Um, poop on the floor. Like, stop. No, they have they you literally have bathrooms like. Yeah, you spent half of a book in the bathroom, basically. Yeah, like, shut up. Um, And I just they want this to be a fun occasion. And I don't see good conversations between specific probably between at least radcliffe and watson having anything to say about rowling um, yeah they've point. been very vocal against her statements yeah so i 
I, I just don't see and I, I I understand now the kind of the the thing of like but there's so much you miss from in the movies that's in the book like yeah a that's gonna be the case no matter what B, but there's a lot of stuff that got cut out that doesn't need to be in the movie exactly like there and I, I've been pretty vocal on saying like I I recently you know I I read um what was it Sorcerer's Stone and then watched the movie I prefer the movie because it there's a lot of stuff that drags on there's a lot of details that while are great they don't matter so it's just and I can't say speak to the rest of the series quite yet but like it's I think the amount of people and i'll say this because I, I i think i now that i have read bolt read one and seen one uh i think the people saying and i i have a feeling you'll agree with me the people saying yes but you miss so much in the movies the books are so much better takes away the achievement that the movies are yes like you the the what we started making they started making the movie after what the second book third or fourth third okay most series but especially kids series because these are kids books guys um don't get made until years after the last entry like that's that's a big it's a big deal so i just i don't know it it, it it's it you can tell jk's like definitely shifted her her writings to understanding that these will become movies after the third book because all of a sudden they get more mature and darker and deal with some interesting things. Well, that could also be your audience growing up with the books. I mean, there is, there is that, but like also, (laughs) because she always knew how it was going to start and end. I mean, yes. Look, okay. A little, little uh, side conversation that has to do with this. I I've been doing a lot of research into like, book plotting and how you plot stuff and blah 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 um while she in like uh, her plotting is one of the few people that she's is one of the few people uh like authors who's come out and been like hey this is how i plot blah 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 um and given like actual pictures of, of plotting sheets and stuff like that uh while she did have everything plotted out there's a lot of like gray area that she that she and most authors leave for when they actually write them. So while they did have a beginning and an end and there's, you know, certain landmarks, in it, you know, in there, it's still like, there's, I don't know, man. I, I, I'm always a, especially when, when you got directors coming out and be like, uh, oh, oh yeah, I, 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 that's totally the way that I meant it to come off. Uh, yeah. Like it's easy to backtrack and be like, oh yeah, I meant, I meant that the whole time. Like, Hmm. My big issue with this, and it's going to be totally irrelevant, but whatever, is, all right, if you're going to do this reunion special HBO Max, can you at least try and make sure that you have the movie rights to Harry Potter for that given month? Because I'm tired of you and uh, Peacock ping-ponging back and forth of, all right, who's got Harry Potter this month? I'm like, can one of you just just have it, please? Like, yeah. like I think it's all on HBO Max right now. Nope, it's on Peacock right now. It switched it already. Okay, it switches like every month. Okay, and I don't last understand month, I watched, it. Wasn't it like last month? I watched the whole, the full series. I think so. Yeah, yeah it's on Peacock oh, now. Oh gosh. 